Hello in the girls and the principals. It's Don. Welcome back to my kitchen this Monday. And today I'll be serving you squid and chicken. Oh, you may remember this deck from before the expansion. It was the Dark Fairy deck where I used EX Pokemons that got more powerful with energies and a certain fairy Pokemon that provided them energies. And the result was some insane damage, which you'll see in this video. So let's get started. Let me explain to you how it's been updated, and you're going to see how it plays against decks of the new meta. So, Malamar EX, what do you do? When you give him energy, he puts the act Pokemon to sleep. Now, provide how easy it is to do this, and your opponent loses an attack on their turn. This is quite an extremely powerful card. Now, the more energy you give him, the stronger he gets. You get an extra coin flip, and for every heads, it's 60 more damage. So let's put that damage in perspective. One heads, yeah, two heads, most non-EX Pokemon should go down. Three heads, all EX Pokemon should go down. Pretty much. And four heads, nothing should survive four heads. Five is just excessive. So we can see how powerful that is if it, you get those energies and coin flips. You're going to see how that actually works. It's quite amazing. So very, very powerful card. He's the star of the show. He's not as, uh, well, he's much cooler than Velto, but don't tell Velto that. So, his partner in crime, we have to mention that he's weak to fighting. So, to balance him out, his sidekick, sorry, sidekick, is Velto, or Dark Meat, chicken. Now, Evil Ball does 20 damage for every energy card attached to Velto and the active Pokemon. So, he uses their energies against him to boost himself. And now, well, he's resistant to fighting. That's kind of why he's there. And he's very similar to Malamar when Malamar can't go out and fight. So here we have Veltal. And not, not as risky, but a little bit more solid. Less damage, but well, that's what you get for now. So yeah, so that's that with Velto. And finally, we have Light Meat. Togekiss, our other uh, chicken-like Pokemon. And Sirene Grace, when it evolves... You look at the next eight cards, and if they're energy cards, well, just stick them right onto Malamar or Velto, whoever's in the active or whoever you like. And you can, any energies, not special energy cards, basic energy cards only, but have even one energy card is like skipping a turn. So you're already winning, pretty much. So the only problem is that once to evolve, it's just sitting on the bench, just looking pretty. And so we're gonna have to fix that. Now, I do have a Shaman. It's not really there for combat. You just place it down. You get more cards. Yet, yeah, that's what Shaman does. So, given these two previous Pokemons I mentioned, I have Super Scoop Up. So, it does a lot of things. You flip a coin. If it's heads, I can use it to as a retreat, heal off my Pokemon, or repeat one of my bench Pokemon's effects. I can reuse Sirene Grace. Just pick it up. Put Togepi and Togetic back down. Because it has the evolution... I messed it up. It has the Delta Evolution, which you can evolve at the turn. You evolve Togetic. So once you evolve Togetic, skip a turn. It's kind of like a free rare candy. Or, you know, I could repeat it on Shaman. There we go. You get the point. You get the point. So moving on, we're almost done. We got to move over to trainer cards. We have Shauna and we have Birch. They're really there in case you draw too many energies and you can just reshuffle them back or you just have a terrible hand. Unless it's Birch. Then you might just have another terrible hand. We'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Now I have some Sycamores because he's just a reliable draw support. You play him, you're going to get more cards. Just use everything you got up and then just play Sycamore. Almost through. We're using special well, double up colors energies because those two EX Pokemons love more energies. Doesn't matter what energy, so double colors helps. We got dark energies and some berry energy, so we could use Fairy Garden. And if Togekiss has to, has to attack, which I hope it does not. Maybe there was something like a Reggie Ice. In fact, you can put Reggie Ice to sleep, but in case there's some Pokemon EX Pokemons can't hit, we have Togekiss. And it sort of can't manage it. Now, a new card from the expansion, Energy Recycler. Because when one of my EX Pokemons go down, they're going to lose lots of energy. So this helps manage it and for more later games. And let's see, we have... Pokemon Fan Club, grabs out those Togekiss, grabs out those EX Pokemons, maybe a Shaman. We have some Ultra Balls because it gets more Pokemon out. Yes, yes. Now, I got Lysander. 
Because you know once you load up your EX Pokemon to energy, you're gonna find something juicy on the bench. So he just uh, kidnaps him and brings him out of the front. And finally, for the two items, we're going to use the Trick Coin for Malamar and the Muscle Band for Veltal. All right. So, so now that you know what I'm trying to do with this deck, let's see it in actual matches. The first two is about keeping pace with these decks. Mega God of War is a bit slow, but if it comes online and sets up, I'm pretty much gone. It's got resistance, it KOs all my Pokemon, so let's see how that goes. Now, this next one is Vespa Queen. I mean, your deck has to beat Vespa Queen in order to be at least good, right? I mean, it's everywhere, it's fast, it's dangerous, so something that can at least compete against it, you know, maybe it's probably okay. And next few matches, very funny coin flip moments, not so funny coin flip moments. And finally, a booster six ticket tournament match. The very last one, is, I mean, if you make it to the end, you probably have a good deck. And this deck is oh, very scary. So here we go. We're still here. Well, welcome to another squid chicken match. I'm gonna start off with squid. That sounds better because I have the Trick Coin and Veltal, so yeah, go start off with Squid. Oh, shame it. Not yet, not yet. It's always a trap. That always happens. So, Xerneas. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I'm going to put an energy of Malamar, which is going to say, hey, Xerneas, go sleep. And Xerneas like, oh, okay. Well, I'm not sure that that actually happened. So let's actually put a Trick Coin. A Stadium, and can I shrink my hand even more? I could, but that will be the right thing to do, so. Here we go, Shaman. Oh, got me a Togepi. I can Ultra Ball for something fairly nice. And I can sick more Togepi. But let's see if we can get Shaman again. Come on, come on. Come back up. Oh my god, it worked. It worked. So I'll take Shaman back up. You know, I probably don't need a second Velto. So we're going to get rid of you and Lysander. I'm sorry, Lysander. We'll first seeker you back up. But let's see what we got. All right. I'm gonna grab a Togetic, because I, I definitely need a Togetic. And Shaman, come again and give me some more cards. A trick coin. Okay, that's for Malamar, not not for anyone else. But a muscle band will go for Veltal. I'm not gonna play Sycamore, I can't, but I'm not gonna play Sycamore. I'm just getting my turn and see what uh see what he can do. Oh, Xerneas is like, nope, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna wake up and seize an EX Malamar. It's like, uh I wanna go back to sleep now. That's exactly what Xerneas is saying. So Let's see what Nightmare got. Ooh, Mega Gardevoir. You discarded Mega Gardevoir? Whoa. Okay. I, I, I'm a little worried, but it looks like he didn't have any other basic Pokemon. So, oh, there it is. I'm Shaman. Gardevoir, Mega Gardevoir. We can do this, guys. We can definitely do this. I definitely have a good, uh, good setup. So, here we go. Ultra Ball again. Are you going for Mega God of War? I don't think so. Maybe Aromatisse. Yeah, there we go. Spritzy Aromatisse combo. And Xerneas is going to get three energies up on the field. Lysander, I'm so sorry I put you in the discard, man. If there's a Verse Seeker, I'll definitely get you back. So, let's go ahead and put this Malamar to sleep. Xerneas to sleep. And Evolve to take. Oh, this is a big price. Big Bryce. I like this energy. I'm just gonna keep attacking, guys. I'm just gonna keep attacking. And there we go. I need three heads, so this is not gonna be three heads. Yep, I know it's not gonna be three heads, but no, this is just fine. Don't go for three heads. A hundred damage due to this resistance. Xerneas is pretty good against dark Pokemon, sorta. Of. But hey, it's asleep, so oh Aromatis is out. He can move energies anywhere he wants. But luckily, because he can't use Geomancy, this this would be two energies less for God of War. What? Get her sleep. You can't retreat. I, I would have put that Rainbow Energy somewhere in the back because the Xerneas is definitely going down. Oh no, Mega God of War Spirit Link. Meg oh, oh no. No, it's Spritzy, so this means if I light Xander or Aromatis out, it's gonna. It's, there's still no one coming up, so I'm in trouble. He's gonna move the energies back. Ah, that makes sense. The rainbow energy actually hurts you. So you put it on the most wounded Pokemon, move it to Xerneas. Lysander, I need you now. Come out here. Xerneas is still asleep, so that's that's good. Okay. 
Another double colorless energy. We're gonna put this in more in Malamar. Yep. And you know what? I know I have a double colorless energy. I need my I need my Lysander. At this point, I need Lysander or Verse Seeker, which I didn't get any. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw Togepi down. Let's go ahead and go throw down Togekiss. Here we go. Now Malamar already has tons of energies. I don't know sure if he wants all of this, but hey. Let's go ahead and charge up Veltal instead, because, you know, we need a plan B, and plan B is going to be Veltal. And a uh, free retreat cost. Definitely go for Malamar. Now let's go ahead and scoop up. Mm, I could scoop up Togekiss, but I'm going to scoop up Shaman, because Lysander, I need you, man. I need you, Lysander. So, oh, both of them? My coin flips are terrible now. So, let's get rid of this uh, Xerneas. I may... I just just give me one heads, man. you got to give me one heads. There we go. Woo! Uh, I'm just gonna pull a barrel. So, one heads, two heads. Okay. Nope, that's just fine. 100 damage. And I'll take a prize card. Verse Seeker Lysander. All right. We need to get rid of this God of War. So, you can send Spritzy out. Can he reach critical mass? He needs six energies to wipe out my Malamar. Xerneas is coming out. Charge. What the? Double colors? Why? Why? Uh, okay. Just Birch. Ooh, Birch is tails. Only four cards. And ooh, luckily, luckily, there's no Whimsicott. Because Whimsicott would be terrible. There's a second Aroma Tease, but no Mega Gardevoir yet. She's down here. So there's there's probably another one somewhere. We're not going to let it happen. We're going to use the Verse Seeker and grab this Gardevoir out. Get rid of her. And make sure it doesn't come out. So, okay. So Aroma Tease is standing here. It's like, guys. Are you going to leave me up here in front? Nope. Xerneas comes out. And he's like, I got you, man. And he's... Wait, were you moving the energies around? Maybe it's a God of War? I think Xerneas is not going to attack with uh, with a Rainbow Spear. There we go. Geomancy. Charging up. Uh, all right. We got to get rid of you. We got to get rid of you. Verse Seeker, Lysander. There you are, man. There you are. Going to pull out this God of War. Okay. Let's, should I juice her up? Do I have six energy ish? Yes, I do. I'm gonna juice up uh, my Veltal instead. No, no risk. We gotta get this right. We gotta get this right. Let's put this Gardevoir to sleep. And we're gonna use Maximark. Here we go. Give me three heads. One heads, good job. Two heads, great job. Come on, Tails. No, come on. One more, one more. Perfect. 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 All right. Okay, that's enough, Maximar. That's enough. But if you want to do... <laughs> oh, man. Whew. Well, there you have it. So here you go. Well, welcome to the serving of squid chicken. We're going to start off with squid. We got some lamb, but that's not going to be there in a bit. So I'm going to attach a trick coin. I'm going to patch double colorless energy. Put this Joltik to sleep. And all right, this is the strongest variant of the Vespa Queen deck. Let's go ahead and Shauna. I don't want to get rid of these cards with Sycamore. Got this. I'm not going to throw out Fairy Garden yet because I don't need it yet. I'm going to end my turn. So Joltik is luckily safely asleep. It is going to stay asleep. That's exactly how I want it. And, all right. So, he's going to go for a Comey, guys. Oh, no. First Battle Compressor. This means that there are going to be three Night March cards going down. When there are three Night March that's 60 damage for the Nightmare Friends and 30 damage for Combi. So you can see how powerful these things are. Just do, play, if you can play all of them on your first turn, that's gonna be crazy. So, now what you want to throw out is Lepent. So I'm gonna, he's gonna throw out Lepents. Yep, there they are. All three of them, you have to search through them. I wish it would just organize it like in a row. Because he had to go through. Okay, okay, you know what I'm gonna talk about. So. Colton Bees, it looks like he Vespa Queen is definitely there. But being very tanky is one of the pluses. I may be able to scoop this up. So, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. If he plays the stadium, I can automatically discard. So that's what I'm hoping. And we'll see. He's definitely not going to charge up this Joltek. He's going to lose one prize card, but he's going to at least get more damage for it. Always a later Pokemon, so this deck is, just gets better and better as time goes on. Yep, he's charging up Combi with a 
All right, he's using psychic, which I don't usually see, but you know that you could use those to use pumpkin boosts. Maybe I, I usually do see them. So usually most of these decks just run all color, double colors energies. All right, and Joltik is not gonna wake up. Good thing, as you don't want to get hit by this Malamar. So we're gonna put you to uh, more sleep. We're gonna throw down Malamar now because I'm gonna use sicker more force. So I'm just gonna throw this down because I'm gonna discard her on the field. I pick on the field. So, you know, this is a Vespa Queen deck. I don't really, I just need like one heads or two to actually do anything. So, let's, let's go ahead and get rid of Pokemon Fan Club as well as Malamar. I want to go with Veltal too. No, he's weak to Jolting. Oh, that was a bad idea. Let's grab Togekiss. Let's grab Togekiss. We're going to actually see Togekiss go into action this time. Come on. It is the camel so come on let there be eight ener oh, the, the eight energies let there be energy cards in the next eight which there are and you know since this is joltic i'm not gonna worry about anything else let's just go ahead and use maximar tails tails i need one heads man oh all the tails yeah you better flip that game just give me one head oh it was all tails but yeah there we go that trick coin saved me. Goodbye, Joltik. And another trick coin. Good. Good. No even tokens might be able to be use be useful. So now Joltik is a bit worrisome. I shouldn't I meant to balance it out by getting Beltul and Malamar, but yeah, going with all Malamar would have been safer. Resistance wise. But I have to deal with coin flips. Beltul's more reliable too. Plenty of using an Ultra Ball, that's gotta be a Shaman. If it's not a Shaman, that would really suck for him. So, four, five Night March cards, they can hit 100 damage. Vespa Queen is coming out. That's the supporter, right? Yep, Shaman's already there. Six more cards, he needs one energy to attack, and I'm gonna take a severe amount of damage. That's okay. He's gonna get put to sleep. Wow, no double colors energy, it's just using regular energy, so those double colors are still there, still a threat. And having one Shaman out may give me a Lysander later, and something good's gonna happen. So, Shauna. Shaman, and then Shauna. Man, nice card flow there. But he cannot one-shot me. 90 damage is two-shot. We're gonna... We're gonna charge up this back Malamar. Yep, go to sleep. Got a trick coin. Birch, do you love me, Birch? Do you love me? He's like, yes, I love you, dog. No, it's not actually does. Oh, scoop up. I'm definitely gonna scoop you up. You. Oh yes, it worked. So I'm gonna take Malmore up, send this one out, and put this one back down. Perfect. You can get a trick coin. You can get charging up next turn. So, just two head. That's one head. Tails. Come on, one more, one more. Head. Perfect, 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 yes! So, no, three heads, enough to knock out any Pokemon. Burst Seekers. Are you down there? I don't remember Lysander's down there. Nope, didn't think so. So we're gonna wait for Lysander. Three Burst Seekers! But only, only Birch and Shauna and Sycamore down there, okay. Everyone but Lysander is not down there, so Lysander's still late to the party, guys. Now, this is where Double Colors Energy comes in. He should have them, because they work on very well in all his Pokemon. There's the Muscle Band. There's the Double Colors Energy. This is going to take revenge. 120 damage. Okay. No, I wish I had some AZs now to do this. But it would discard my energies, which is why. Yeah. But. We're just going to have to deal with this. So. Uh, I, I really don't want to play any of these cards because they would just shrink my hand. My hand is like pretty awful pull. So, here we go. Verse Seeker for what? Do you have Lysander? Oh, okay. See, I'm even afraid of Lysander. It's going to be a Shauna. It's going to be Shauna. What? Wait, I saw something. Okay, his Pokemons have very low hit points. But, I don't think. Well, it's just. I don't think you should use Pokemon Center Lady because you're not going to survive. So, let's go ahead and put uh, energy on. You're going to go to sleep. Yep. And 
Yeah, let's go ahead and use Pokemon Fan Club. I'm gonna grab out Togepi. There's no reason to get Shaman out, as well as a Veltal. That may be really bad. I'm gonna save this Veltal in my hand so he doesn't think about getting a Joltik up. So come on, give me two heads. One head, excellent. Tails, mm, heads, got it. You're the man, you're the man. It's easy, right? 180 damage, KO potential, way overkill for Vespa Queen. So, another prize card, scoop up a little too late, but it may be useful for next Malamar. Man, I'm gonna have to charge up Veltal. I'm gonna have to charge up Veltal. Double colorless, does he have another Vespa Queen? He does not. Sycamore, what is he discarding? Ugh, more Night March cards. How many Joltics are down there? His Joltics are still there. I'm a little bit afraid. Did he get a did he get a Vespa Queen? Of course he did. You gotta. He hasn't played it yet. Oh. You know, like Xander, I kinda want you now, because I'm Oh no! No, it's a Joltic! Now that Lysander is going to be in peril. But he has not involved Vespa Queen. Oh, that's it? That's... Well, sometimes you're just stuck like that. And it happens, but... So here? Oh, welcome to the serving of Chicken Squid. We're going to pick my psychic powers. Tell me that it's Tails. Is your final answer? No, it's actually Hits. I know it's Hits. Oh. Okay, well, I'm glad I guessed right the first time and not the second. So, Malamar is gonna be out first. And again, with. Why is it always Muscle Man and not, not the right one? So, it's Litleo. Ooh. We gotta get rid of this soon. So, hey, Litleo, you go to sleep. And I have this nice double color synergy, so I'm gonna wait. So, if this thing evolves, which I do not think it could do in its first turn. I'm gonna doubt that he's gonna play Wally, but if he plays Wally, then we need to get a Toga Kiss out ASAP. Because there's no way I can break through this. There's Scorched Earth. Pyroar. No, he could build the Litleo in the back line. Alright, so the only thing I got. Oh, okay. Whew, okay, it's not Litleo. It's Entei. I can deal with it. So I just need really one heads. One head. And I can get rid of this. He's gonna charge him up. Yep. Yep. Even if I only had a regular energy card, that would be pretty bad. Oh. Didn't even need that on there anyway. So, is Litleo's gonna wake up? No, that's better. So, let's go ahead and charge this up. Oh man, these are such nice cards. You can go sleep again, even though you're asleep. Okay. These work nice in the discard pile, except for uh, the Verse Seeker. But here we go. Trick Coin, that's more proper. And let's go ahead and. Uh, it's not the right time to shaman. So here we go, Maximar! Come on, just give me one. Perfect! Don't have to, don't have to stress out, right? Oh, oh, all oh, three heads! Woo! Oh, no, that's good. 180 damage right on my first attack! Wow, you're a lucky Malamar! And now I'm missing my token piece. And I have to sick him more. Great, so Entei is out. It's like, did you see what happened to the Litleo? Guys? So, yeah. All those heads, I got a trick coin. I got another energy to put you to sleep. This is a big, amazing burst. Burst Seeker, oh, what you got? What you got? Zoro oh, Zoroxic. So he's going to discard by colors energy and try to hang on. So double colors energy goes down. And one energy, and now is he gonna use Combat Blaze? I mean, I barely have any bench Pokemon. So this thing, does 20 more damage for him. Bench Pokemon, which is zero. I have zero bench Pokemon, guys, so... Oh, he's gives this card one energy, two energy... Oh, energies! Wow! This is count against special energies. Yeah. No, he did not. So he's gonna have a one really charged up Entei if he wants to. He should only just pick one. But they go into this card, so like, whatever, right? Right? Man, it's gonna be tough to get two heads. Alright, we'll send you down, Velto. We'll go ahead and put this to sleep, because I don't want it to get... It. Uh, I don't want it to attack. Go to sleep. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and use Maximar. Come on. One heads. That's great. Two. This Malamar, you are so awesome. All heads every single time. Yes. Luckily, I can at least attack. So yes, go to sleep, Giratina. 
And this thing is all heads, that is going to be awesome. I don't expect it. Yep, there we go. The first one's tails. Two tails, we're definitely going to flip this. All tails, we're definitely going to redo this. Come on, Trick Coin. Don't be tails again. All tails? Twice? How could that be? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh those... man. Oh, you're still here? Oh, welcome to the final Ratchet Torment. Oh, coin flip. Okay, guys, it is. I let's go ahead and pick tails, but it's probably gonna be heads. I said it was the opposite, right? So it's probably heads. Oh well, there we go. Perfect. I got it right the first time. Oh, technically I got it wrong. Oh, shaman. Rats. At least I got double colors and she still can attack. So we'll see what a boo bug got. Pumpkin boo. Okay, so we are we're definitely gonna attack with this shaman. So come on, here we go. Shauna, give me some my EX Pokemon. It is Veltal. Ugh. I'm, I don't think I'm ready to play this. I would actually use this to get Shaman, but Shaman's already down there. We're going to go ahead and throw Togepi down, though. And that's it. I can't attack. And I think I'm safe this turn, guys. So, given Pumpkaboo and Swirlix, this is... I know what this is. This is really dangerous. But luckily, it's weak to dark Pokemon. So, it maybe it's not so dangerous after all. And Veltal is up front. So... The more cards he has, the more powerful he is. Lucky Helmet. There's no way I can take this down next turn because of my unfortunate draw power. Oh, I'm confused, so I may not be able to take Shaman back up. So let's go ahead and put this on you. I, I would actually have taken that back. First, let's go ahead and charge an energy onto Veltal. And we are going to evolve this Togetic. And come on, you gotta wake up, Shaman. Come home, come home, come home. Here we go. Coin flip, it is a tail, so it's gonna actually hurt itself. Oh, well, 80 hit points left. That's not looking good. Man, if he, if he charges up and attack my shame, that is gonna be not so good. Ooh, this is, his hand is gigantic. It's got, if it evolves, it's gonna have 200 hit points. I am still confused. Man, the coin flips, coin flippy. Okay. Sky return. Come on, come back to my hand. Come back to my hand. Yes. So it attacks is now back. And next turn we can shame it and get the cards I need. Or I can just ultra ball and get the cards I need. So it's all good. Weakness to darkness. I got this. I'm liking this. Pumpkin boot does not like it. It's like, um guys. No, this is gonna confuse my Veltal. Darn confusion. So, unless he evolves it, which is gonna be very awesome. So I hope he does evolve it. So, oh. Okay. You know, I could have retreated that shaman, but if I attacked, I got would get back to my hand, would set up, and so I did. So he's gonna evolve it. I don't have to deal with confusion, but I am gonna have to deal with a lot of a big chunk of damage. Dimension Valley, 130 damage. Good, good. Okay. So let's go ahead and discard Lysander as well as this muscle band. And we are going to grab a Togetic. Where are you? I'm sorry, Togekiss. Togekiss, evolve. Give me one dark energy, man. You just gotta give me one dark energy. Exactly one dark energy. What? So exactly one dark energy is gonna come on. Is this enough to knock it out? I need to do a... Oh, it is enough to knock it out. Good. So I don't have to attach more energy, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so this is a really bad hand. Let's go ahead and try to scoop up my Shaman. Come on, scoop up it up. Come on. Oh, it worked. It worked. So I'll grab another Shaman. Or at least this Shaman back up. Man, I can't really get rid of these energies. Let's go ahead and charge this on. I feel safe. I feel safe. Man, I'm going to have to throw a Trick Coin on somebody. I don't want to, but I need to. I'm going to play a Shaman. Here we go. Ultra Ball. Okay, let's throw Togepi down. Let's discard Lysander and this double colors energy for a Malamar. Because I need Malamar out now. Yep. We're going to throw down Malamar. We're going to discard Sycamore. Or play Sycamore. Fairy energy. Yep. You're not going to get Dimensional Valley out. And that's it. We're going to use hmm, Y Cyclone, Evil Ball. We're going to use Y Cyclone. This is going to knock it out. 200 X damage. And we're going to charge up the Malamar. So... I'm good to go. Now he had a lucky ball, a lucky helm, so his hand is gigantic. Oh boy, I wish I saved Lysander. 
There's the pumpkin boot. There's the menace. We gotta get rid of that. Lysander. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I shouldn't have dropped you. Two of them. Okay. Okay, it's charging up. Oh, this is not looking good. Slurp up. His hand is huge. Lucky Helm. Oh, this is bad. Okay, Veltel's gonna definitely gonna stay up front and take the first hit while Malamar comes up. Ooh, just hand gets bigger. Okay, Verse Seeker, Verse Seeker. You could. Oh, it's not a Verse Seeker. So let's charge up Malamar. And yeah, you can go sleep, Slurp Puff. And I think this should be enough to knock it out. It's got no energies. I need a hundred. It's not enough to knock it out. Ah, okay. So. I'm not going to play Sycamore this time. We're just going to save it. We're going to use Evil Ball. 60 damage because of resistance. And I'm just going to get lots more cards. But that's okay. He can do tons of damage, but this thing is already almost gone. So if Malamar can come up and finish a job is what I'm hoping for. Or if I get Lysander, that's going to be awesome, more awesome. So another Gorgeist is out. And it's... I'm, I think Thinking's ready to go soon. I can use a free retreat and bring him home, but I'm not. Because he's going to absorb all that damage and let Malamar, who's healthy, completely healthy, come back. Man, I wish I had escape, bro. So, my opponent's trying to figure out what to do. He's, because of this weakness thing, his Gorgantic ability, 200 hit points is not going to help him at all. So, Roller Skates does not work. You don't need any more cards, man. The big numbers are real dangerous. So... Alright, Trader Mail, don't be Lysander. Verse Seeker, you can what's down there? It's not Lysander, okay. More pumpkaboos are coming. He's getting more Pokemons out. We need to get rid of these Gorgeist. Really bad, but he looks like he's short on energies. He's short on psychic energies. Yep. Switch. Oh, you're gonna send Gorgeist now? There's the psychic energy. You don't have this Oh, he swapped the stadium. He's gonna sacrifice this Gorgeist for Malamar, okay? Okay, so Malamar, good thing I left that out. You did a good drop, Veltal. And let's go ahead and attach this on Malamar. Yeah, you go to sleep. Put another one on. Is it time to use Energy Recycler? Not really. I can't believe I'm birching. I can't believe I'm birching, but I can't discard any of those cards. So, birch. Oh, thank you. He loves me. So, let's go ahead and put Togetic on. And man, all these evil Pokemons I don't need. All right, Maximar, you just need to give me two heads, man. That's one, one more. Thank you, thank you. So this is gonna be 240 damage. Thank you, weakness. Ooh, four heads, yes, 480 damage. All right, so I've got Verse Seekers. I can go ahead and just Lysander destroy his bench line. He is not gonna get another cool guy stuff. Huge hand, huge damage. Yup, Gorgais is up 200 hit points. Lysander, this is where you come in and shine, man. Unless you do that to me and I need a... I need a fairy energy. One fairy energy, so I don't know how I'm gonna draw it or not. So, you're gonna draw that out. It is a dark energy. You know what? We're gonna have to... We're just gonna have to birch. We're going to have to birch again. And maybe I can get that fairy energy. But no, I'm right now I have to deal with the slurp buff. So it is heads birch. Yes, man. Yes. So let's go ahead and get rid of that stadium. Because it's in his favor. And fortunately I did not get anything else. So we're gonna charge up this front Malamar. Yep. Go to sleep. And so I have two Malamars. Good to go. I'm good. I'm good. Heads is that slurp buff is like it's not gonna take it. It's gonna wake up. Despite having 30 hit points. Hey, Sacred Ash, gotta get all those Gorgeist out. And unknown, so Tiano. Massive damage, okay. There's the Psychic Energy. Let's go ahead and put it on. Just use the Psychic Energy. Yep, go to sleep. And uh, I think Birch's luck is gonna run out, guys. I think it is, so let's go ahead and Birch again, of course. So, it. I know I got two heads, it's gonna be Tails, Birch. Three heads every single time. Excellent, excellent. So we are going to use. We're just gonna get rid of the slurp buff. It's been a, it's been a pain. Come on, just give me one heads. 
Or you can just be two heads. Zero heads. It does nothing to me. Which does not activate the lucky helm, so I'm good. And it's asleep, so he cannot retreat it. Alright, I got Lysander. And I can use my free retreat for this better Malamar. And so it's, we're, we're playing out Cold War now. He may just have a switch. Let me see. Did he, has he ever used a switch this game? He did not use a switch, but he has Lysander, so a verse seeker would be pretty bad. Oh, he has to use a switch. Okay, that's bad. Okay. Just waiting. Oh, man. He has enough cards to one-shot my EX Pokemon, guys. There we go. It looks like he's getting ready for an attack. I got a Fairy Garden to replace it, so I get a free retreat, or I can just pay the retreat cost, but once I get this out, I think I'll be okay. Energy Recycler. Gonna get those... Only three? Three energies back. That's, that's pretty good. Switch is gonna come out. It's like, yes, I'm gonna get rid of this Malamar. Burst Seeker. Oh no, he's gonna Lysander my better Malamar out. What a jerk! What a jerk! Okay. Fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just need two heads. Oh, I'm not gonna get those two heads. Why? Okay, I got I got a squad of Togekiss. Wow! Just enough to one shot me. So, let's do this. Let's use the energy recycler because I'm about to. I'm about to get these. I'm just about to sick more because I know Birch. Birch is not going to go for Horror Tail. Sorry, Birch. Not this time. All right. We're going to sick more. Give me my Togekiss. Just give me a Togekiss. Give me the Trick Coin. There's the Trick Coin. Here is the energy. Yep. You go to sleep. And we're going to Togekiss. Yep. Even though I really need two heads. Come on. Come on. Wow. Okay. So we're going to load you up, man. We are going to load you up. And I have a Lysander in my hand, so there's no way that Gore guys. Uh, wait, that's it? That's it? Oh, okay. Maximar. Two heads. Tails. Okay. Come on. Heads. Perfect. It's going to be two heads. Well, I'm not worried. There we go. So that weakness is just really getting to him. Two heads. Uh, nope. That's it. That's it. 240 damage. And you better not play any Lysander. He can Lysander. But I got. I can just retreat with uh, my fairy energy. So, come on, put down your next score, guys. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Lysander, all you want's not gonna work this time, man. So if he does not have any, he might have unknowns. Three cards left. Wow. He drew pretty much his entire deck. Wow, that is crazy. So he's close to decking out, but there's a big Malamar up front. He cannot evolve. Hey, I guess he could use Wally, but you know, it wouldn't be well played. Uh oh, that might be it. So I'm gonna play so type back. GG. That weakness for him to play against is Deoxys unknown. It is now Shriek. Ooh, two cards left. Two cards left. Wait, if I attack this, he's gonna run out of cards. One card left? Oh, you're gonna deck out, man. Bay knows this, so. Roller skates. And it is head So Now he's got the gore guys ready to go. You know? He pretty much drew everything out, throwing it all down. That's it. That's it. Retreat sends out the oxus. And okay. Just gonna end turn. I know he has no cards left. Got it. Got it. It was it was dangerous, but luckily if, if I didn't have weakness, that that would have been much more scarier. And it was pretty scary, given that he actually was winning in prize cards. So I'm very lucky my opponent ducked out. And so this is the end of the tournament round. So three tournament chests, two booster packs. They're fighting. Okay, so it's Furious Fists and two Ancient Origin Booster Packs. Four Booster Packs and three Tournament Chests. We made it to the end. Congratulations, of course you did. So, my thoughts on the overall strength of the Dark Fairy deck. I think it can pretty much handle everything. Now, it's because it's got the damage, it's got the scaling, and there's nothing that really can't take on unless you get some really bad coins, like getting three Tails in a row I mean stuff like that just happens but overall it's pretty good it's pretty good now on Wednesday I have go lurk evolutions 
which is, you know, probably the second popular after Vespa Queen in budget decks. So we're going to finally do it and see how hitting with all file elements does. Now, if you left me a comment on my camera video, I'm going to read them right now. So let's get started today. Let's pull it up and start with Jonathan. Jonathan, hey doll, are you sure Hex Maniac cancels Reggie Ice's EX Beauty? It does not. I was just talking way too fast. Got me on that. And the Marie Shepherd, I like the new logo, but I like the running cat better. And the reason I switched to the new logo was because I felt it had more personality and a face. It shows some emotions. Santa's, well, got a nice hat and bow tie. The other one was just, it was cute. It was running. And, you know, I may bring it back now and then just, just for fun. But thank you very much. Thank you for being subscribed and keeping up with me for since 151 too. All right, and Celestent. I'm always scared when I face camera. With the proper setup, it can KO everything. Yeah, man, it's gonna be so crazy when the next uh, expansion comes out. Thank you, Celestent. Travis Mercer. This deck is explosive. In a couple weeks. Because of the new burning energy, has such a great synergy with it. I know, man. Awesome, and Jelly. Why didn't you discard energies from your active camera because it needs those energies to attack and I thought overall in the long run it may have been better so that's how I was calculating in here just that hopefully okay and Danny Dana could you possibly make a DNC floor guest deck maybe and Bob the destroyer hey I want to say that you keep producing great content every day but I'm afraid there's a day you may run out well Next to do, we got Dragonite EX, Articuno, Huntail, Vileplume, Dewblades, the other Metagross, Metacham, Magmortar, Porygon, the other Porygon, Amoras, Mega Manetric, Mega Blastoise, Mega Venusaur, Mega Tyrandar again, and going back to other decks, Absol, Blaze again. I'm still here, man. That's not going to run out. Man, thank you. We got. All right, Timothy Loftus, you make weird decks. I like him. I think that's a good thing. Thank you, Timothy. Seto Games. This deck is be really good with a new set breakthrough. I'm going to get that comment a lot down because I read it. But, yep, exactly. Fiery Knight 9. I currently don't just run this deck, but I'm thinking about it. And I read your comment, you know, trying to make this deck more stale. It could work. It could work. So thank you, Fiery Knight. Mike. That muscle band really pulled through. Exactly. Yup. Thank you, Mike. Colts and Graps. Birch loved you here today. And this video, too. So he is going crazy. Son of a um, Birch. Yes, of course. Meridian Crab. I love the art pneumo. Never, never could think of these amazing ideas. You can't. You can't. Thank you, Meridian. And Daring P. I have the power. That's He Man, right? Perfect. And Tim Hutt. Great video is always down. Thank you. Yeah, Judson RT11. Add Magnezone when you can play two supporters. Ah, oh, it's expanded. I have 42 standard decks and no expanded. I gotta keep up my streak, man. And Raymond and Ray. I think in the second match, you should have Lysander in the Magic Carp Battle. It was, it's more fun over low funny, but yes, I could have. I could have. And a random person. <laughs> Hello, random person. Getting us fired on that Mega Hound Doom deck, I see. Maybe. For camera ups is cool too. And Mike Ferrer, we do top. Thank you. And Outcast, this makes me more excited for burning energies. Oh yeah, I can't see what you come up with that too. Good luck on your stream, man. Alex Hollingsworth, nice tech. The only thing I would add is special fire energies. I think we talked about that. Well, yes, definitely gonna be awesome. And iPod cheese. Love this deck. What geez, burning fire energies. Got it, guys. Thank you. And Perulin. You keep mentioning Hex Maniac. That wasn't the typo. He got it. I guess whatever typo is when you're just saying it. All right. And the Rainbow Pit, finally. You, you say, I think 2 Ente is the right solution for Reggie Ice, not Hex Maniac. So definitely switch that out. And new special. Okay. Got it. Got it. Joe Bidley. I think this deck with the new special. Thank you, Joe Bidley. And Sebastian Todd. You should make an updated version of Don Fan. It's expanded, yet it has my name. That's really tough. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Victor, how about adding Volcorna up? 
I think there was not enough deck space and it was clogging stuff up. So that's why you have, it's a good idea though. It might work, it might work. And all right, Doe Dragon, this deck is very explosive. Answer button here. Awesome, thank you man. Raymond, instead of killing the Joltik. All right, I will do something else other than the Joltik. Man, Ether Sword, great deck. Get those fire challenges done. Evolutions, big damage, definitely. And, hey, I think that's your name. H-E-I-B-K. And you said this camera deck with the new fire energy. I, I'm sorry, but this is all the comments. A lot of comments to say it, but yep, would be awesome. And Kyler, nice deck, brings, gives me ideas to bring out. I'm glad it does. Thank you very much, Kyler. And Zaytax, how can Mex Maniac go? Oh, that's a typo. You got it, man. You got it. And can you win with only using items? Ah, oh, that'd be a scary deck to do. I, I, I'm, I feel safe with my supporters. And Explosive Jet, 800 damage. Yes. Thank you, Deanne. And Jesus Velasquez. Jesus Velasquez. Got it. Fiery Torch. Ultra Ball is a good option for discarding. Mm-hmm. I, I think it was discarding way too much at that point, though. So that's why Fiery Torch wasn't in. Could work, though. And Lightning Gamer. Is Wily worth a slot in this deck? It wasn't really. I tried it. It was just the supporter would have all gone better with something else. And the end rolls to camera up from Double Grises. Yep. Great combo. Love, love. See hidden decks, right? Deck ideas hidden there. All right, so how about leaving me a comment for this video? Because my answer it on Wednesday. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchers. Maybe I'll see you back in my kitchen this Wednesday. Bye bye.